So how do we create a path or chain length dimension? Well, we can group select all the items first, or drop down under Smart Dimension and click Path Length Dimension. We can then select our entities one at a time, or to leverage the power of SOLIDWORKS a little bit better, we can right click on an item and choose Select Chain. This then adds a path length dimension value on our field, and we can use it then like a normal dimension. We can then start to move our path around and it will shrink, grow, but always maintain that path length of 500. This enables us to control, for example, the length of a production line or the length of a belt very accurately. And we can slowly add in greater numbers of references or, or control over that path length while moving everything around. Makes it very easy to control. Obviously, I can select this dimension and choose delete. But the whole group of entities is still listed as a path. So if I select one, it selects all of them. Now we can set our path length driving, obviously because I've deleted the value it's unticked that. We can also start to add relations between the path and other entities within our assembly for example a tangent or a distance mate and we can also edit the path to include or remove entities from it, so for example I could edit the path to take out one of these endpoints. But to stop it being a path, what I need to do is select it right click and choose delete. At that point I've deleted the path relation between all of the entities and turned them back into individual entities. Thank you very much for watching.